Hello, my beloveds. Thank you for joining me for Can This Heal Me? My name is Unicole Unicron, and it is my honor to have your attention. Today we're talking about a very interesting technology. This technology is called Kylo. It's a pain patch. There's uh, other companies other than Kylo making this type of pain patch. So know that they are not the only players in the game. I think there are at least two other major players in this game. And let's get into it. This is a pain patch that works without any medication. It is a reusable pain relief patch that is designed to relieve pain within minutes as it targets the exact source of your pain within the body's electrical signals. It relieves different types of pain without causing any side effects. Instead of relying on medication or invasive treatment to relieve pain, you can enjoy powerful relief just by applying Kylo to the targeted area of your skin. It's reusable, it comes with adhesive skin patches. It only came with three, which I think is not enough. But you put it on here, you peel off the back of the pain patch, and then it's sticky, and then it stays sticky for a while, and you can place it on different parts of your body, and it's supposed to relieve pain simply by attaching it to the right place in your body. As you look this up on the internet, there's a lot of uh, warning signs. Kylo works. Okay, these pain patches work. You just have to make sure you're applying it to the right part of your body. And there's a lot of people who say it's a scam, and there's a lot of people who say it works, and it's a big mess. Overall, it's usually got about four stars um, all over the internet. Different people saying different things. Some of the uh, r r testimonials are very, very, very positive, and um, you, it's hard, it's hard to believe because it's just a piece of plastic that's got these, uh, this different, this different material on here. So what? What is this? How does it work? I became quite interested in this and I was like, you know what? I really want to know what this is and how it works. And so I started emailing the different companies and they were pretty sec secretive about what was going on. But one company did slip me a, just a half of a sentence and they said NCAP. So I started Googling NCAP and NCAP stands for Nano Capacitor Technology. We'll come back to how it works. I want to jump to uh, where did it come from? Okay, if you look up NCAP technologies, you can find the company that created the patent for this technology. And you can even see that one of the creators talking on YouTube about it and how they invented it was that they created it for the military to create mesh networks during times of warfare for soldiers. So soldiers could wear antennas like this made out of this technology on their arms and it actually worked as an antenna to interface with our technology in order to amplify signals. It also They also created with the same technology adhesive antennas by spraying on uh, this material with an adhesive and um, creating antennas anywhere. You could create an antenna on a tree. This created uh, a lot of freedom for different people who needed antennas in the middle of forests or during warfare or, you know, military endeavors, whatever. They released this technology then after, uh, to the general public and said, you know, it's available for, I don't know how it works, renting or leasing <laughs> the technology. And someone came up uh, apparently by accident to discover how this works. So what is NCAP technology? NCAP stands stands for nano capacitor technology if you know if you know electronics you know how capacitors work they kind of work like a battery they hold a charge and they are in most circuits usually they're bigger if you're working with electronics and you, you play with them but if you basically unplug your computer charger and the light stays green that's because the capacitor is still charged it's it's discharging it's like wait how does this working it's like it's unplugged from the wall the capacitor is still is holding a charge so the capacitor actually works kind of like a battery, but it has a different function within the circuit. These are nano capacitors. So they're super, super, super tiny, super tiny capacitors, a bunch of them, and they're made out of silver and copper. And the idea is that these nano capacitors are actually absorbing the pain signal from your body. You have a pain in your hand and the pain signal travels up to your brain and your brain says, ow. Your hand's not even, your hand's saying, this is a pain signal and your brain says, ooh, that hurts, right? It has to get to your brain in order for you to know that it's pain. So if you place this patch in between the pain and your brain, it absorbs, the, the capacitors absorb the energy of the pain signal of your bioelectric energy and diffuse it away from your body. Pretty incredible. If you uh, understand how capacitor works, that can help. It's similar to a battery. 
And uh, I thought there's this another interesting thing that ha that I read about where uh, Apple actually uses this technology in their in their cell phones, and the antenna there's an, the antenna inside your cell phone is actually this nanocapacitor antenna, and so uh, NCAP, the technology company or the inventors actually tried to sue Apple and say that they copied the patent and Apple said he came back and said your patent is too vague we're allowed to do whatever we want and I, I'm not sure how that turned out but I thought that was an interesting um, an interesting lawsuit around this technology the healing potential a lot of people say that this really does work and I think this really 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 important that we have stuff like this that can actually offer pain relief for people who are in chronic pain um, a lot of the reviews that were most impressive to me were people with like nerve pain and they said that they just never wanted to take this thing off so a lot of really interesting and impressive claims I personally don't have a lot of physical pain. One day I did have stiff shoulders and they hurt. And so I put it on the back of my neck and I held it there for about 30 seconds, one minute. And I was really curious to see if I was going to go numb or if I was just like, what would the effect be, you know, if you're not getting a pain signal? And what I found is that the pain of my, and maybe this is obvious to you, the pain of my stiff shoulders went away, but the, the tightness did not, right? So I still was able to feel, I wasn't numb. I could still feel the physical effect of the pain, just not the pain itself. I don't have a lot of physical pain. Like I said, I do yoga multiple times a week. I eat really good. I exercise. I keep my body, you know, I, I take care of myself in a way. I'm very lucky. I don't have a lot of pain. And a lot of people who do have chronic pain are, uh, transmuting like intergenerational trauma and, um, there's a, there's, there's a lot. So let's move into the skepticism because I do have skepticism for this technology because I do believe that pain is a good thing. I do believe that pain is a messenger. I do believe that pain is here to tell us something. And as we can sit with our pain and we can listen to it, we can actually learn where it's coming from. No pain is meaningless. No pain is coming from nowhere. Sometimes pain is coming from, like I said, intergenerational trauma. It's coming from a place outside of yourself. If you're a hypersensitive person, you're going to feel the pain of all the chaos around you. Okay, and that's gonna, if you don't know how to process that emotionally and you repress it, then it turns into physical pain. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go read Louise Hay. <laughs> that's all I can say. Like, pain and illness in the body is because of the inability to process emotional, your, your emotional messages. Not just yours, but your communities, your families. If your family, is repressing a bunch of information and you're the most sensitive person pain's going to come up in your body if your grandparent like if your ancestors this is if your society if your town like there's certain people who are holding the space of transmuting energy for a large group of people because they're sensitive in that case <laughs> if there's nothing you can do for the pain um getting relief is really important for instance, I have, I've talked about it on this, on this special, on can this heal me, my period pain all the time. And I haven't had this long enough to try it on my period. I'm excited to try it, but I have the worst period pain and I've done everything I can to listen to it and sit with it and heal it and just feel it. And I think it's the patriarchy. I think once we solve the patriarchy and the oppression of like women and people with uteruses and trans people that like and the oppression of like even indigenous cultures and like black people and every race that's not white, then I think we'll find some period relief. I think that like that's, that's a manifestation of like cultural issues. And that's why all people seem to have extreme period pain. I do believe we can have a future without pain. I take, an, I take medicine every month for my period. Okay, because I can't do anything about it. I've tried. I'm always trying. I'm trying so hard to understand it and to solve it. And I still need extra help. I still need relief sometimes. No shame in that. So I do think pain is important. I don't think we should totally numb out. I don't think we should totally block our pain. But when you need that relief, this is a really cool idea. Does it work as well as people say it does? I think it depends on you. I think it depends on who you are. For me personally, I would give this four out of five stars. I don't find it super easy to use. I haven't stuck the sticker on it yet. Um, I 
I'm excited to try it when I have more pain. I don't have a lot of physical pain, like I said, except for my period pain. I don't know that it's going to help me with that. Um, but I do think like something like this should be in everyone's medicine cabinet because, and I think it should be economically affordable for people to access because if it works as well as they say it should, then we all deserve to have the relief from pain without medication, without interfering with our bodies, um, with our bodies, you know, overall health just by simply interrupting the signal. So this is a really interesting technology. I don't have a link for you, so you can make up your own mind and decide if you want to get it or not. Like I said, Kylo is not the only one out there, and uh, I hope that you find pain relief if you're in pain, and uh, please let me know if you do try this technology, if it does work for you in the comments, because I think it's really helpful to read other people's experiences and, and uh, to learn about what's working and what's not working. You need less.